Yo, what up, y'all? Back to After Effects. It's your boy, Mr. Tran. Uh, back at it again, showing you some After Effects tutorials. Um, welcome back. So, uh, last video we talked about uh, Motion 3 and talked about the Anchor Point tool, which is up here, the Eases, and um, Null. Um, we're going to skip these because I don't really um, know much about them uh, other than I haven't used them yet. Uh, but there's also a, um, this clone one is pretty awesome because it's dealing with um, duplicating keyframes. So if you select the keyframes and you hit clone, it duplicates the keyframes. So, no longer do you have to just do Control C, Control V, and it does it. Um, the reason why you want to do that versus just Control C, Control V, is because you can do them cross layers, right? So you can select all these keyframes, clone, and it'll just clone the animation. How cool is that? Um, so if you have like a walk cycle or some type of um, repeating looping animation that you want to happen, um, not like super looping, but like if you want it to happen one, two, three, or four times, but you don't want it to happen forever, this is a great way to do it. Um, so yeah, so that's the clone one. Um, now, I want to show you these little tools up here. You can change the colors of, um, of um, this layer here. So instead of going up here to the fill and the stroke, you can just do that right here. Uh, the reason why you want to do this in here is because you can add this as like a swatch, right? So let's say that is... Um, Yeah, so that's the color there. So I'm going to add that there. So this one we want uh, to, you know, to have that be the color. And add that to the swatch. So uh, the great thing about these swatches is you can just reuse them. And so now I've got a swatch living in um, the plugin. So the way to turn this on is you have to have a layer selected uh, in order for it to work. Um, you can also change the color of the stroke as well. So that's kind of cool. So close that out. Now, the thing that I like to use, um, especially when you're doing animation in After Effects and you've got lots of layers that uh, you have created, um, it can get a little bit confusing, you know, especially if you're not a person that names or color code layers like I am. Um, you can use these little tools up here that will um, hide all the other layers except for the one that you just selected. So if you click that, you see how all the others are hidden. Um, even like they, they were hidden like out of sight, you know, so you can focus. So it's kind of like how you can double click into like a, a like a, a grouped um, graphic in Illustrator. Um, you, you know, you can just turn everything else off and just focus on just this layer. So that's nice. And then you can click on this to go back. Uh, and then you can also select multiple layers and hit this and it'll focus to that and it'll go back. And um, so now I want to show you um, some of the cool uh, things that I found out about this plugin that I really, really love. If you click on this little lightning bulb, there's like so many different things here. So for example, uh, one that I really love is the rename option. Click on that. So I have all my layers selected, right? I'll put in the name, uh, group uh, prefix before um, number, I don't know, and then I can say the selector is this thing, and then I will um, 
rename. So now it, it renamed all of these layers for me. I didn't have to do it by myself uh, or manually. I can just, you know, so that is a time saver in itself. Um, let me make this one remove this. I don't need this anymore. There we go. So there, there's that option. Let me delete these and then let me go back and um, just turn these all back to where they were. Okay. Um, so here's my animation, right? It looks like this. It's really choppy. Um, another cool thing that you can do is you can uh, select the keyframes that you want to, uh, for this effect and just hit Excite. And what it does is it gives like some really cool bounce effect to the keyframes using code. So like you see this red number here, if you go down into the expression, um, you can yeah it, it's using code so if you go down to the expression uh, inside here there it goes Excellent. So what it does is it uses code to create these cool little bounce effects. If you click here, uh, it'll show the keyframe, like the, the code here. Um, I wouldn't really touch this, but that's, that's what it automatically adds to all the keyframes here. So it gives you that nice little effect. And if you want to get rid of it, um, you want to get rid of the code, uh, there is one uh, called trash so yeah so if you select trash it removes the code from it so no longer do you have to like go and find the code itself and, and remove it you just hit trash uh, another one that i really like is um, dynamics so if i hit that that's kind of like another thing that you can do so see dynamics it um, creates this like cool little wiggle thing and you can actually mess with the frequency of how much it does that so this is how often it does that and this is the amount right and then you can also change the seed seed basically means uh, it creates a it uh, messes with uh, different sets of randomized numbers so it uh, allows you to generate a different look Oh, now it's gone. Now it's back. So I think I just have the amount up way too high. Let's just go down. There we go. Let's see how it's just still moving. So that's a cool thing that you can do. Just hit trash to get back to where we were at. Uh, oh, another really cool one is warp. Warp is super cool. Let's, let me show you. So warp uh, has this cool effect um, where it will uh, create little echo versions of um, what you like put down, and it um, basically there's this term in animation called smearing. Uh, and smearing basically is like a exaggeration of the motion path of, of the thing that you're moving. Um, it looks like my computer doesn't have enough space to cache this all, but that's that's okay. It should still fit. Yeah, see. So that's kind of like a cool way of like I don't know making your animation look more dramatic than what it is. Um, all right, so let's trash that. 
And I guess we can move these here. So now we're back. Nice. Oh, oh, okay. So the last thing I'm going to show you is called sort, right? So let's say you've uh, imported like a bunch of different assets, right? So let's say these are like different assets that you've, you know, imported. Um, if you're not a very organized person like myself, uh, you can hit sort. And what it will do is it will automatically sort your project for you. So there's all your comps, there's all your images, your nulls, um, and in any old folders that you may have. Um, so yeah, uh, and if you get messy again, you just hit sort again, and then just re re reorganize it for you. So that's a really, really nice option. Um, so yeah, this is a longer video. Um, there were more things uh, I wanted to show you. Um, I skipped a bunch of stuff, uh, as you can see, because um, this plugin is just like a, a beast of a plugin, and I don't have time to go through all of it, nor I have I had time to like explore everything that is in this plugin itself. Um, but um, you know, if uh, if you click on this button here, you can see um, you can specify like the uh, interface you can check to see if there's an update oh the way this updates is really cool it, it, it updates within the plugin itself so like you don't have to like go outside of after effects and go download another thing it just automatically uploads which is really cool and you can send messages to the developer right right within the plugin as well so yeah Hope you enjoy this series. I think this will be the last video of the motion plugins, but um, if you found this informative uh, and you want me to cover all my other plugins that I really like, um, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you like content like this, uh, help me out by giving me a thumbs up button and uh, subscribing. <laughs> um, stay saucy, my friends, and I will talk to you next time.